Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is monotonic array. So an array is monotonic if it is either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing. So monotone increasing in the sense, if the elements adjacent to each other are increasing is less than or equal to them, it is monotone decreasing if it is greater than or equal to the adjacent element. When we start from left to right, so our task is to return true if array is monotonic, if it is monotone increasing or decreasing, else we have to return false. Coming to this question, you can see 1, 2, 2, 3 is monotone increasing, so you return true. 6, 5, 4, 4 is monotone decreasing, so you return true. 1 is greater than 3. Next element should be greater than or equal to 3, but it is less than 3, which is 2. So we return false as the output. So here, as you can see, there is no need for the adjacent elements to be strictly increasing or decreasing. Here also there is no need for it to be strictly increasing. If it is greater than or equal to adjacent element, it will be okay. So let's take the first example. So I've taken the first example and second example. Let's leave the third example for dry run where I'll show you during code. So I declare two variables is increasing or is decreasing. And initially both of them are true. We are assuming that both of them are true. And after the end of the iteration from left to right, if either of them remain true, we will return true as the output. If both of them are false, we return false as the output. Because an array can be either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing, it can't be both. Whereas both of them can be false like in this case. Now we start our iteration from the index position 1 always because we have to check the previous element. Now we check if current element at i 2, so i is 2 and i minus 1 is 1. So this is strictly increasing, right? And this condition makes this false. So this will be set to false because if it is increasing, it cannot be decreasing. So that is set to false. Now let's move i further. Now i is pointing at index 2. It will check with the previous element. It is 2. This is also greater than or equal to. So this is still remaining as true. Now i will move further. Check if 3 is greater than or equal to previous element 2. Yes, it is still following the trend. So it will remain true. And i will move further. Now i is at the end of the array. So we processed all the elements. We check if either of the elements are true or false. Strictly increasing it's true. So we return true as the output, which is expected here. Now let's come to the second example. i is pointing at 1, like I said, because we have to check the previous element. i is pointing to 5 and previous element is 6. So both are initially true. 6 is greater than 5. So it is a decreasing array. Since this is a decreasing array, it cannot be increasing array. So you set this to false. Now move i further. i is pointing at index 2. So i is pointing at 4. Again, 5 is greater than 4. So it is following the trend. So this will remain true. Move i further. It is 4. Check with the previous element. It is also 4. Since it is greater than or equal to, it is following, still following the trend. So move i further. Now i is at the end of the array. And we processed all the elements starting from index 1 till the end. We check if either of them are true. Yes. So you return true as the output for this question 2, which is expected here. Now let's take a look at the code and try run example 3. So I declare the true variables and both are initially true. Let's take the third example. Now i is pointing at index 1 and it will iterate till the end of the array. We check the current element. Current element is 3. And previous element is 1. Since 3 is greater, this is a strictly increasing array. So this condition is passing. So decrease is decreasing will become false. So set this to false. Now go for the next element. i is pointing at index 2. The element is 2. Compare it with the previous element. Previous element is 3. But here 3 is greater. Since this condition is satisfied, is increasing will become false. Since 3 is greater than 2, set is increasing to false. Now move for the next element i is at the end of the array so we reach the end of the array and we come out of the for loop we check if any of the elements is true no both are false so this will be skipped come out of the if statement that won't be executed and we return false so false will be returned as the output for this example which is the expected output here so the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the input array nums. The space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.